All right, back again with another round of Jeopardy. Geo Party. We are um, moving on up. Yeah. Second day of this week, potentially, of Jeopardy. We probably won't end up doing a week because we've gotten, I think, out of the ten categories last time, what was it, like eight of them were all repeats? Pretty much. Actually, maybe nine. It could have been nine. The only thing that, you know, the only saving grace was we didn't know some of them, so... Seems like the game has kind of run out of content, unfortunately. Yeah, which is un to begin unreal. I still find that it's a triple A game for a triple A platform. We've had that one. Yeah, we've had that one. We've had that one. Celebrities' favorite books. We've had that one. We've had that one. Night crowd. We've had that. We've had the Yeah, we've had that. Forever. We've had that one. Company name origins. And we've had that one. Yes. See, this is the problem. I'm the company name origins. We're getting Geico right this time. How could they have not put more Please questions in this game? It couldn't have been that hard, right? I wouldn't think so. Benjamin Holt created a tractor that an onlooker said crawled like this worm-like lava. Larva. Caterpillar. Caterpillar. See, what I don't get is, they've made the game at this point. All the questions, all they have to do is just, it's just changing text exactly. is all it is. Yeah. Right? Isn't that all they have to do at this point? To and you know the thing is, they use the same Play questions in, some, in different Pick categories. Category. Yeah. This company started as a government employees insurance company, hence the name. Oh, we, we got this one last time. It was time. Geico. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. <laughs> government employees insurance company. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I, I was going to say it was Allstate, but that's, well, that's what we thought last yeah. time. We got it wrong. Yep. Yeah. Because it's like, oh, wait, G E I. <laughs> yeah. I was like, we're getting that one right at least. Originally called Backrub, this search engine took a name that is misspelling of the word for. Oh, Google. Googly. Google eyes. The only really like saving grace of this is I love you running the right. total up. <laughs> that, that's kind of fun. Especially I would, I would love to have a done. perfect run at some point. That'd be insane. This company, this company that delivers meal kits to be prepared at home, is named for something chefs wear while learning to cook. Oh, that's Blue Apron, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Red glove. That's fucking. Well done. Tuna helper. <laughs> oh, the hamburger helper mascot. Yeah. Helpy. <laughs> Helpy. <laughs> James Church chose this name for his product because the symbols of the god Vulcan presented power. I think I know this one. It was Arm and Hammer. Yeah, I think it was Arm and Hammer. But that or we had a different question that had Arm and Hammer as the answer, but no, it was that one. Okay. Because the Arm and Hammer is the fucking whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Well, there's three grand. Let's just uh, let's fucking do Late Night Crowd. Tim Gobert took over David Letterman's Late Show in Dave's Venue, a theater named for this TV legend. I feel like we remember this one too. Yeah, we actually got this right last time. Ed Sullivan. <laughs> well done. Edward Sullivan. Get fucked, Thomas and Mary. <laughs> On TBS, his theme song is played by the Basic Cable Band. Yeah, it was fucking. It was like the Roots or something. Oh, TBS. That's a. Uh, that's Conan. It's not George Lopez. Yeah, that's, that's Conan. Indeed. Don't blame Conan. <laughs> <laughs> this is a stupid video I've seen. Juju Chang, Dan Abrams, and Dan Harris took on this late night show Ted Koppel anchored for 25 years. I have no clue. I have absolutely no idea what that could be. If, if, he, gets it, it, if he gets it wrong, we'll go for yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say. If he does, which he may not. Dateline. No, that's not it. Sorry. No, I was like, that don't even sound right. Let's, uh, let's take a stab at it. Nightline. Yeah, it's got to be Nightline. I haven't even heard a Newsline, have you? No. Correct. I've heard a Nightline, though. I've heard a Dateline, actually. It just didn't sound right. you learn points if you can name this host who lords over Hashtag Wars and other games on At Midnight. Chris Hardwick. I love a good roast. That's right. Five grand. We haven't missed a question yet. <laughs> Before his late night gig, he co-hosted Win Ben Stein's Money. God, I feel like we, we got this one wrong when we guessed it. Yeah. Once again, if she gets it wrong, we'll go for it. That was right. It was Jim. No, it wasn't. wasn't. It was, uh, Let's go for it then. It was Jimmy Kimmel, wasn't it? <sighs> Maybe. Yeah. Actually, was it? Or was it I James Corden? I think it was Jimmy Kimmel. Uh, okay, good. Oof. We're catching some breaks here. <laughs> Big time. Star Wars forever, bitch. <laughs> Spoiler alert. At the end of The Force Awakens, this actor from the original trilogy is revealed from under a hood. Luke. No. Oh, Mark 
Mark Hamill. I was like, where's Luke? <laughs> the actor. <Right. laughs> we are catching some breaks, aren't we? <laughs> Star Wars story had a worldwide box office total of 290 million in 2016. That was, uh, I think, Rogue One. You are correct. I don't know that I've ever actually seen a Star Wars movie all the way through, but I know what they're called. <laughs> <laughs> in Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith, this old Jedi Master was entirely computer generated. Yoder. <laughs> Yoder. <laughs> <laughs> so why use a robot when we can just CGI him? Indeed. And you look better. Yeah. Well. SNL star Bill Hader lent his voice skills to this round rolling droid. R2 D2. D D D D. <laughs> BB8. Wrong. I was really hope. Whoa! It wasn't R2 D2. We lost. We got one wrong. BB-8. It was BB-8. I was just joking. I just, I just noticed BB-8. I was like, oh, damn. Oh, that's a trick question there. It's your turn you to choose bitch. a category. Finish it. Jennifer Lawrence picked this author's "Raise High the Roof Beam: Carpenters and Seymour," which she read after *The Catcher in the Rye*. I have no clue. Jennifer Lawrence. Mary and her Star Wars. J.D. Salinger. Correct. That's not right. That is right. Never mind. I thought I would have recognized the answer since we've gotten it two times already. <laughs> She's going to get the daily dick. Dolly Parton says this is her favorite book because I always say that I thought I could, I thought I could. The little engine that couldn't. The little elf that could. <laughs> Damn, it took me a second to be able to find it. I was worried that. <laughs> the, little, the little elf that could. The little elf that could spend his life enslaved in a factory making toys for Santa. Player one, which category would you like? <laughs> Pretty fucked up when you put it like that. First film in the series was released on Blu-ray in this year, 34 years after its theatrical premiere. A new hope. <gasps> 34 years after What's its theatrical premiere. 70 something, so it'd be probably like. Remember what year a movie came out? No, I just say 2011. I really have no idea. Fuck. Go on. Oh. <laughs> That's the year we graduated. That's the reason I went with it. <laughs> I really didn't know. Oh, God. Not surprisingly, this magician claims as his favorite book the Charles Dickens novel that bears his name. I think I know this one if you guess it. It was oh god, wasn't it David Copperfield? Um, that's right. I was really trying to figure out when Blu-ray was like hot. Jessica Biel's favorite book is this Gatsby's writer's Tender Is the Night. All right, we could probably get this one too because I feel like we. Uh, it was F. Scott, it was F. Scott Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald, right? Yeah. Precisely. <laughs> Tell you what, go to go to your keyboard's shift key and do that one, because I don't want to risk us not getting this one and then they guess, unless that one was the daily double. <laughs> On most keyboards, there's a shift key right below the enter key, and another below this lock. That's your caps lock. <laughs> we were sitting trying to figure this one out, and I was like, wait, we got a keyboard right here we can look at. Yes. <laughs> Come on, daily double, please. Give us a daily double. Yes! <laughs> Good daily call. Double. Bet it all. Bet it all? Fuck yeah. Alright. How much would you like to wager? Yeah. Nine grand. This item over the forward slash is used to enhance interrogation. That'd be the question? Oh, that'd be the, uh... It is the question mark, because there's the forward slash. I guess it would be, yeah. I don't know what else it could be. Correct. Ooh. 18 grand. <laughs> we have to fuck up really bad. Email would be near impossible without this item over the two, aka an ampersand. The at key? The at sign. I guess would be. You right. That's right. Blah, 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 blah. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Roger Maris and Barry Bonds were all too familiar with this item over the eight. Asterix. Oh. Steroids. <laughs> Cheaters. Correct. Oh, man. Mrs. Puff, I think Barry Bonds cheated. <laughs> we don't mean to be diacritical, but this mark is found above tab right now, not manana. Oh, that's... Uh, the uh, tilde, right? Fuck, I didn't even click it. Oh, it's the, it's the tilde, though, right? 
Oh, he got Sorry, wrong. But that's incorrect. Another break. <laughs> Another lucky break. <laughs> the macaron. Exactly. Oh god. <laughs> so it's somewhere miles away from here. Observe the following Someone injected image. you with steroids in your ass. Venn diagram? <laughs> that would be cheating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I was looking at a second ago. I just I was sitting here just looking That's at the screen. <laughs> I, was, I don't know what I was waiting for. Luckily Thomas is an absolute idiot. Let's watch this short video. It's the slope of the line seen here. To calculate it, divide the change in Y by the change in X. Slope intercept form. I don't know. Uh, it'd be one. No, it's going perfectly diagonal, so it'd be one. <laughs> right? I hope. Well done. Okay. <laughs> Looks like math. <laughs> math is power. <laughs> Take a no, look at power. this clip. When it presses the decimal, pi. pi never repeats or terminates, so it's one of these numbers. It's irrational. Three point one four one five nine two six five three eight. Blah, 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 blah. Ear ash no. We had a contest in That's middle it. school to memorize as many letters as we could. I don't know. I don't remember what the winner got. Like pie contest. I remember baking pies for pie day. Look at the <laughs> following damn. image. Describes these two angles that tell you how lovely and terrific you are. Acute and ab ab obtruse. Oh, they're uh, complimentary. complimentary angles, I guess. Yeah. You are right. <laughs> How lovely and terrific you are. <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Let's watch this short video. Here's hoping that there's enough time to count all the sides to name this solid scene here. One, two, three, four, five. It's twelve, so it's a deca dodecahedron, right? Uh who? Precisely. Precisely. Sir. Out the dude. Here's the last right. clue. Celebrity's favorite book. Lauren Bacall said his all-time said all the pretty horses was the most beautiful writing I've read in years. I fucking I don't know. Well, I'm glad we didn't save this. I mean, I'm glad we we'd have lost that daily double dead and went right to it if we got this wrong. You are Cormac correct. Cormac. I was say, that actually sounds right. How's it feel to At the not end be in the, of the red, Jeopardy Mary? Round, here are the How's it feel to be down twenty grand? If we could get both daily doubles and double up on both of them, that'd be oh, sick. Oh, God. Let's take a look repeat at the categories Jeopardy we get. Double categories. Jeopardy. The, the thing NFL. is, he gets to go first. We've had that. Yeah. The Unicorn. We've had I'm that. We have had that. National Inventors Hall of Fame. We've had Fame. that one. Science, nonfiction. We've had that, that one, one multiple times. Numbers. We've, we've, had, we've that. had that one. Female athletes. And we've one. definitely had female athletes. Yeah. It's all just the same at this point. Where are you going, Tom? And through the looking glass, she meets a unicorn who's stunned to discover she's not a monster. Alice. Alice. Alice through the looking glass. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well done. Alice in Wonderland. Player one, please Player select one. a category. Observe the works in here image. was inspired by this painter who wrote of the unicorn, Leonardo da Vinci. They didn't include the penis. The vagina. <laughs> We're gonna talk about you sex, right. testicles. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Beavis and butthead. <laughs> the endangered Indian species of this large ungulate has the scientific name R. unicornis. A rhinoceros. Rhino. Indeed. Gore. <laughs> Gore. Gore. This unicorn-like whale's horn is really a long tusk. The narwhal? <laughs> I hope. <laughs> that sure as hell don't know it. Exactly. I don't know a whale had a horn. It's a narwhal. A tusk. Gentleman Collar breaks Laura's prize unicorn figurine in this Tinsley Williams play. Wasn't that uh, the Glass Menagerie? It was. We had to read that in school. Precisely. Hmm, you see your attitude? Uh, let's do female athletes. This tennis great missed making a calendar grand slam when she was defeated by an unseen player in the U.S. Open semifinals. I think that was, uh, Serena. Is it Serena or Maria? That's correct. 
Daily double. Yes. It's a daily double. I, oh, fuck. I feel like there's some of these that were trick questions How we got wrong. How much do you want to wager? Well, go for it. Who cares? I mean, they're negative and fuck it. This Maryland swimmer won four golds and a silver at the 2016 Olympics. Oh fuck. Oh my God. Was it Allison Schmidt or Katie Ledecky? I have no idea. Katie Ledecky then. <laughs> for all the marbles. That's it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Woo. <laughs> Rap lyrics just ain't for you. <laughs> Sheila Johnson is the first American, African American woman to own a partner in three pro teams: Washington Capitals, Mystics, and this NBA team. I have no clue. They can have that one. I'm glad it wasn't that one. The Celtics. That's not what we were going. That's for. not what we're looking for. The 76ers. You can have it, Mary, or whoever, Thomas. Oh, the Wizards. Wizards. That, you know what? Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Player two. He's still in the red. Which category would you like? Don't you get my daily Look double. at the following image. The symbol seen here represents this planet where author John Gray says men are from Mars. This is nuts. We could literally bet it all and still win the game. <laughs> they have... <laughs> <laughs> we could literally... Bet it all and get the last question, like a 2,000 question right, and still win. Um, you know what? Actually, I, I think I want to like kind of jump around here a little bit because this uh, this team moved from St. Louis to Los Angeles. The Rams. <laughs> Precisely. Um, because I feel like if we move around, well done. You know, we're we're more likely to get it. Kind of like you said last time. Yeah, that's true. Now that doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be NFL, but that would be good. The first of these games to be played in Honolulu was on January 27th. The, the Pro Bowl? Yeah, it was the Pro Bowl. Honolulu. Yeah, Pro Bowl. What am I doing? You are right. Well, the Rose Bowl's college. Yeah. Super Bowl's not going to be in Hawaii. Although, I bet they would prefer that it was. Yeah. In the 80s and 90s, LT was used to refer to Lawrence Taylor. LT was running back in yeah, the Ladanian. You got this right. Ladanian Tomlinson. It was something close to that if it wasn't that. Ladanian Tomlinson? Yeah. <laughs> exactly that. Precisely. Oh, me. Come on. God, I want that daily double to be in this fucking NFL category so bad. <laughs> that would be preferred. The first NFL championship game saw this team win 23-21 on a fourth quarter pass by Bronco. Wasn't that the Bears? I believe it was. Chicago Bears. Yeah. I don't <laughs> well, think, that's what we're going with. I don't, think, that, I don't think the Giants were a team yet. No, I don't think they were. Although they've been around for a long time, but I don't think they were a team then. Oh, God. Dan Quinn became the 16th head coach of this team. Did we think, was that the Browns or was it uh, the Jaguars? It was, it was the it was the Browns, wasn't it? It was the Browns because I said it was the Falcons, I think, last time. Sorry, but that oh, it wasn't was the, the Falcons. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, 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 you can't fault me. With that. What, what, what am I saying? The Browns probably had like 40 coaches in, since their creation. They sucked that bad. It was the Falcons. Well done. Oh, well. Who got that? Thomas. He's back Wait, in the I game. I liked it better when you were down. He's going to get the daily category. double. You're going to go right for it. Okay. Take a look at this clip. The storm scene here is in the Western Pacific, so it goes by this name. A typhoon. Absolutely. Or a cyclone. Oh, God. Well, actually, I remember when we did this last time, uh, it only gave one of the options that I knew, so we knew it was obvious what it was. It's a, it's a, it's a typhoon or a cyclone. She moved her body like a cyclone. Yeah, it's a typhoon. Okay. What exactly is you a tsunami? <laughs> That's the wave that comes after yeah. an earthquake. Okay. All Player right. one, which category oh would you like? Oh my god. Photology is another name for this, the study of plants. Botany. Yes. The botanical gardens. Dinosaurs died out in this geological era that means middle life. I feel like we got this one wrong when we guessed it. It, it was paleo, right? Was it paleo? Yeah, pa paleo, right? Or was it meso? We'll go with paleo. I don't say Sadly, paleo. It was meso. It. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Mary. Mary, Mary. Quite contrary. I guess it was meso. Mesozoic. That's right. All the little dinosaurs. Rip. I had a dream. Player two. Pick a category. Observe yes. the following image. Because they have complete outer shells, the gases in this aristocratic... Noble gases! 
Krypton. No. That's correct. Give me back my money. <laughs> okay, out of the two categories that are left. Which category would you like? Well, actually, they're not, they're not that bad. Either one of them's good. What's the numbers? The Arabian Nights are the tales from this number of nights. Hundred or is it a thousand? Mm, fuck, I don't know. I mean, we'll, we'll go for it. One thousand and one. Yeah. You are correct. <laughs> you are correct. One thousand and one Dalmatians. <laughs> God. Racing tires need to be both sticky and strong because the rubber approaches this temperature Fahrenheit, the boiling point of water. Two hundred and twenty. Two hundred twelve. Excuse me. Yes. I was so off we, by we eight can, degrees. We can break it down from there. <laughs> I was off by eight degrees. My water would have boiled dry. Damn. Sing a song of six pence, a pocket full of rye, this many blackbirds baked into a pot. Four and twenty. Four and twenty. A million and one. <laughs> Four score and seven. <laughs> Correct. Eighty-seven birds in a pie. Four and twenty black birds baked. Dinner Look at the following image. It's the time signature, the music scene here. Shown here. Do you know? I think I remember this one. Well. It was... Oh, was it two or four or four and four? Uh, go with two and four. Oh, good. I think it was two and four or four and four. Indeed. Okay. Hmm. Well, there's two little thingies, so... God, come on! <laughs> with the Daily Double! The Screaming Eagles, 101st Division! Thank you, Band of Brothers. Good. I know that then one. we're going to... What was it? 101st? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. So the Daily Double really. almost has to be here unless there was two of them in the Surely they wouldn't have been two of them in I really wanna, the same I category. I really want to save those female athlete ones. <laughs> I'm kind of scared of them, to be honest with you. This inventor was inducted for his revolver with interchangeable parts. Colt? Samuel Colt, right? Indeed. I really hope the Colt Python... Mm. We could set a record with money if we oh double up here. God, come! On. Yes, all Daily of it. Double. All of it. All of it. Because I mean, e even if we How all of it. Are you wagering? Everything. You took everything from me. He was inducted for the disposable safety razor. <gasps> it was fucking uh. I know this one. It was Gillette, wasn't it? <laughs> it was Gillette. King, King Camp, Camp Gillette. Gillette, the best oh a man can Christ. get. Oh my Christ! Boom! And we can double up that. With the <laughs> final, we can get three hundred thousand dollars. Oh my maybe. god! Maybe he became an inductee for his eye shrink resurfacing machine. Oh, that was that Zamboni dickhead that I we didn't guess it because yeah. I was too scared to. Frank Zamboni. That's too obvious. Is you Zamb know what? Bone on these nuts. Damn. Damn. <laughs> oh man. Jesus. Okay. Improvements in the condensing of milk. Ah, oh, this was that. Yeah, I remember this one. It was homogenized something. No, it was, wasn't it was the Borden guy? It was Gail Borden. Remember? Because we were talking about Borden milk. Yeah. Correct. In the little can. Yeah. <laughs> Condensed milk. He's a homogenized guy. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. He became an inductee for his noise reduction systems. That were, was it the Bose guy? Well. Or did we guess Bose every time we get wrong? I think we, we guessed wrong? Bose and it was wrong, but. Let's see, it could be Dolby. I, thought, we it, guessed I Dolby. thought it was a Mare Bose. I think we guessed Dolby. And wrong. it was Bose. Fuck oh. it, was, it was just Bose. It was we're going to get that one wrong for the rest of our lives, apparently. Yeah. Enjoy your $2,000, Tommy. It's like you couldn't have just been Precisely. Mary. Poor Mary. God, she ain't got anything. Player two. Player Pick two. Pick category. Pick Damn. category. She's the first woman to compete in both the internet. Yeah, I remember this one. And it wasn't who we thought it was. Because Danica Patrick wasn't even an option. I don't think. Or if she was, she was wrong. Yeah, it wasn't her. It was... It was the Guthrie bitch, wasn't it? I think it was Janet Guthrie. I think it was. Indeed. Yep. Because we was like, oh, Danica Patrick. And it was like, oh. Wrong. She wasn't the first to do it. <laughs> Last clue. Uh, the golfer who calls herself Korean Kiwi. Yeah, I think I remember this one, too. Korean Kiwi. Hmm. It was... Lydia Ko. It was Lydia Ko or Michelle Wee. I think it was Lydia Ko, though. Correct. Yep. Okay. My memory. <laughs> that just goes to show my memory is still intact. <laughs> Pablo from fucking Jesus. Who Wants to Be a Millionaire. Depending so, on the category, I don't know if we should bet it all or not. What is we, the most Thomas could get? 80, or not, it's how much like 90, do you want to wager? 9,600. Internet country codes? Oh, God. Yeah, just bet 135,000. 
Will that leave us enough to yeah. still win? Yeah, that'll leave us with 12,600. He can't get that much. Just do that. Internet country codes? Oh, God. I like even numbers. <laughs> Jesus, dude. Among two-letter country codes and internet addresses, D is Germany, Kia is coming, and ES is this country. Oh, God. ES is a country code? I would almost say Spain, but it... <sighs> that almost just seems too obvious. El Salvador, Estonia... Ah, uh, I don't on. know. ES is Espanol, so... Well, okay, yeah, that's right. I would go with Spain. I've... God, that almost just Th These obvious. questions are bullshit. Yeah. These are new questions. Okay, they got Spain too. That's fucking good. Yes! Thank God. <laughs> okay. You're right, though. Every I think every question we've had here has been something different. Yeah, all the final Jeopardy questions are different. Yes. We all got it right. <laughs> well, we only won by 290-something thousand. Actually, more than that. Oh, my God, dude. Exactly. How much money is that? That's our record. Jesus, we won by two hundred and seventy-four thousand oh dollars. Get fucked, Thomas. Oh my god, that is crazy. That's our hilarious. Luigi can buy a big mansion with all that. <laughs> oh man, shame we're already maxed out. Hundred percent on our hundred percent on our on our money there. That had to have brought our total money gained. That's crazy. That had to have brought our average up at least a point, right? We only missed like two questions that whole time. We it did, did, brought it up to 83. That's crazy. Number Damn. of buzzes won, 828. Number of total correct responses, 743. So, highest total amount of matches for money. played, 23. Matches won, 18. That had to have brought our average money wagered up a lot. <laughs> oh, God, it had to have. Money per match. Oh, man. Well, there you go. See, here, th there's the. There's an example of probably why this will be the last episode of Jeopardy, though, because every single topic, I think, I think every in that second category, every topic every we had, single topic, every single question we had already had before. So and the only thing that you know was a saving grace is we just guessed and we got it right. Sometimes it came back to us, you know, on some of them. Yeah. So might be the last episode of Jeopardy for real, unless they update the game and add more content to mm -hmm. it, which they probably won't. Nah. But uh, so this. This is the first part of this Jeopardy week, or maybe it'll just be a weekend thing. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. We might just do a game show week here. Might record a little bit of Will Fortune, maybe a family feud. Maybe a couple of family feuds we can, yeah. Because we haven't done through. many of those. All right. Anyway, that's Jeopardy. Thank you so much for watching.